Hey there, Cham here of InMotion.Press and today I'm gonna make my own Doodly review. And this is a new whiteboard and blackboard animation software. I know that we already have a lot of software that can do this like Xplaindio and Easy Sketch Pro but we stay for a while because I wanna show you why Doodly is amazing. And before I do, let me just go here to Google and as you can see, I search images of Swiss knife here and also a knife because I just want to show a point to you. And as you can see, Swiss knife has a lot of features like, for example, this one, it has a scissor, a knife, a cork bottle opener and a lot of other things. And look at this, this particular Swiss knife has even a lot more features. And while having a lot of features in a certain tool is great, it actually lessens the functionality of each of those tools. Like for example, the knife within a Swiss knife can function as a knife, but it is not as good as a standalone knife itself. So if my purpose is actually just to use a knife, I'd rather buy the knife itself rather than a Swiss knife that has a lot of features, but I don't actually usually use those other features anyway. So in this case, because I just need a knife, I'd rather buy a knife and have a great functionality of that particular tool. So the same is true with a tool like Doodly. It does not come with a lot of features like Explaindio and other tools out there, but because it's dedicated to whiteboard and blackboard animation, it actually do the job of creating whiteboard and blackboard animation pretty well. So let me just preview the one that I just created earlier. And as you can see, I just choose a whiteboard animation here, but you can actually do a blackboard as well, which I will be showing to you how to do it in a minute. we go so as you can see that's a simple whiteboard animation that I just created and so now let me now demonstrate on how you can create whiteboard animation using this tool so let me try to create things from scratch let me just go here to my videos let me just click this card and for now let's create a new one so let me just click create new video and as you can see you can choose either a whiteboard background or a blackboard background Personally, I actually yeah, still like the whiteboard background better, so let me just choose whiteboard here. Let me just name this demo and then just click create. And once I do, it brings me to this dashboard where, as you can see, I can check out scenes that I can use. And this can be a background that I can use in my whiteboard animation. I can also see some characters here. And by the way, you can also import your own character if you want to. You can also check out some props. Again, you can import your own props or images that you want to use. I can check out text as well as sounds. And again, you can also import your own sound or any voiceover that you want to use in your whiteboard animation. So let's go here to scene and choose any scene here that we can use. And this is the one I chose earlier. So if I want to choose this, all I have to do is click and drag it here to my monitor there we go and as you can see i can choose any duration and i can even click and drag this scene here in my timeline and this is one of the things that i really love in this software because i uh, as i always say i'm a timeline based video editor and i love it when tools like this has a timeline and it actually does and this actually makes it a lot easier to time your animation or your scenes together with your voiceover and those are the things that I don't like about Xplaindio and Easy Sketch Pro because I find it really hard to time my animation with those tools. Although they might be updating the software and they might include timeline with them as well, but I'm not really sure. But for now, what I'm happy about Doodly is that they actually added a great looking timeline. Here we go. And, as, and after adding a scene, you can now choose a character that you can use. And let me just recreate what I did earlier. The character that I use is Steve Thinking. Let me just click and drag it again here. And let me just resize that by clicking and dragging from the corner here and just place him 
there for him to be sitting on that chair over there there we go and you can add as many characters as you want in a single scene so let me just add one more and let's let's just choose amanda pointing here place her there and then resize her as well There we go. So I can place her maybe here, maybe pointing at this guy, saying that what are you doing there? Thinking a lot of things. Look at the time, you know, <laughs> something like that. But as you can see, as I choose the character here, I can do a lot of things like I can delete the character. I can send the character backwards. Let's say, for example, there's a character behind her and I just want to place her at the back of that character. I can do that by using this tool. I can also bring her forward. And then I can flip her as well if I wanted to. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, so I just leave it as that. And again, I can click and drag this scene here in the timeline to time in with voiceover that I have. Although I don't have right now, but let's say my voiceover is up to 10 seconds. So let me just click it up to that particular time. Alright, so if I'm now happy with this scene and I now want to add additional scene, all I have to do is click this plus button here. And as you can see, I now have an empty scene. And what I can do now is add another scene or character. But for now, let me also try to use some props from here. And let me just choose this analog clock here. There we go. And again, I can always resize, place it whatever I want. Let's just place it here. We can also add a text by going here to text tab. And as you can see, you can choose any placeholder text here. Fonts. I hope they will add more fonts in the future, but let's just choose one of this here. Let's just choose the first one and I can just double click it to edit that. I can add anything like time is gold, something like that. Click done. And of course I can resize it again and place it wherever I want in the monitor. And again, I can choose the duration. I can lengthen the scene or make it shorter if I need to, to match whatever voiceover that I have. And after that, of course, we can also add some sounds. And as you can see, they have a lot of sounds here that we can use. Or if I have a voiceover that I want to use together with the scene, I can import that voiceover by clicking this plus button here and then browse files and then just import that voiceover although I don't have one right now so let me just click close this window here and maybe choose from any of this background music here let's choose the first one and of course you can always preview it by clicking this play button here there we go and let's say I want to choose this I can all I have to do is click and drag it here to my timeline and if I want to preview how the scene looks like I can always click the preview button here There we go. So one thing that I'm missing here is that I hope there's a way to add additional audio track so that what I can do is actually import my voiceover here for example and then add that as my main audio track and then maybe just use this as my background music. And another thing that I'm missing at the moment is that I hope they will add a feature wherein I can control the volume of my background music here. Because, uh, of course, as you may know, if you will add a voiceover, you have to make the volume of the background music lower so that it will just be used as a background music. As of right now, uh, they still don't have that feature here, but I'm hoping that they will add it in the future. But that's not a problem at all. All you have to do is export your video and then go to a video editing tool like Camtasia and it will be there that you can add your voiceover and then add a background music and lower the volume of the audio there. But so far, it's still a pretty cool app for me. It's still the best whiteboard and blackboard animation tool that I have used so far. And it can be compared to a tool like Video Scribe. You actually have to pay for it monthly, which of course most of us don't like to do. The good thing about this software is that for one-time payment, you can actually have all those features and you can create great whiteboard animation using the software. So I highly recommend this tool. And if you find this tool useful and you want to grab it as well, I highly recommend that you do so with my affiliate link using the button that you can see below this video. And if you do, I will be giving awesome bonuses for you which you can see below this page. And again, as always, I create quality bonuses. I don't 
just grab PLR bonuses or obsolete products that I give as a bonus. My bonuses are always of quality and I always create fresh bonuses that I align with the main product. Aside from that, if you buy this product from my link, I will be there to support you whenever you stop in using this software and I might be creating my own series of training videos on how to use this software in the future. So if you buy from my link, I'll be giving you access to that training as well. So that's it for now for my doodly video review and I look forward to seeing you using this software together with me as well. So thanks a lot for watching. My name is Chan and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.